Hi, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today we're going to talk about top three exercises for ankylosing spondylitis. This That's is a mouthful, Bob. It is, uh, but I'm assuming that since you've come to this, uh, you know, this video, you probably know what it is. It's mm -hmm. an, you know, a type of arthritis, inflammatory arthritis that can affect your spine, your shoulders, your rib cage. Mm -hmm. And it, it tightens you up. Right. Um, yep. And like Brad and I were talking, the people we've seen, they've ended up like this. Right. You know, everything's tightened down on them. It gets to the point where they have difficulty breathing. Mm -hmm. So this is where we want to, you know, from the, the, the time that you discover that you have this, you, you want to, you're, you're going to be kind of in a battle to keep your range of motion and, and, and uh, breathing ability. Right. So, so we got to loosen up that trunk, expand work on that posture is really what it Yeah, one thing they to. actually recommend even is that you measure yourself every month to make sure you're not shrinking, mm -hmm. pulling over, and even measure your chest expansion. Sure. So you, you measure it with you um, at rest and then measure, take a deep breath as you can. And you'd like to see a good inch and a half to three inch expansion. All right, so you just so. use a tape measure just like you do if you're fitting yourself for a co overcoat. Yep. All right, let's show you the exercises. There's a lot of them, um, and obviously you don't need to do all of them, but you know we're just going to throw a whole bunch of them out there, and you can see what you can do. Right. All right, the first three, uh, the first one of the three is chest expansion is basically mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. And you can do this seated or laying down. Um, you're going to put your hands behind your head like this, so mm -hmm. you're getting a little shoulder range of yeah. motion too. Just take the deep breath, expand, pull the elbows back, and then you can go like that. Now you can do that laying on your back too. Right. You, you might find if you're the gentleman I last worked with this, he was so far into it he, he couldn't even do that he, one. He yet. wasn't able to get his hands back, so yeah. you'd have to. That would not be for that. Right. Person. And some of these people, you're not. Yeah, you're going to be too far along. Another one, roll towel. Mm -hmm. Brad put some of his famous duct tape there. You better believe the handyman. it. Handyman, lay flat on your back, and. By the way, you want to use as little pillow as you can when you're sleeping at night. You don't. You know. You want to try to adapt to the point where you actually use very little uh, pillow at all. And, and the you're... reason for that is if, if you do this because it feels more comfortable, yeah. it just promotes that poor posture. And, and tightening up right, of so. the spine. So again, I got a roll towel between my shoulder blades. And now the same thing, you can do this. And again, if you can do it without a, uh, a pillow, go ahead and do it without a pillow. And you're going to go ahead and breathe in. Ooh. Good, so he's breathing in as he comes up, exhales as the arms go down. And Bob, can you just roll over this way? Because I don't know if everyone knows. Sure. Here's where that towel roll is, right between the shoulder blades, right on the spine. And you'll know it's in the middle because it's very sensitive to tell. Very good. Okay, now the other thing you want to do is keep these muscles stretched out. So Brad's going to show a wall stretch or a, well, you can do it in a corner or you can do it in a doorway. So if you're in a doorway, you got to make sure it's about the right width. And you may start with your hands here, and depending on how your shoulder flexibility is, and you're simply going to lean in gently and get that stretch. You should not create any sharp pain, but a nice stretch. And typically, you're going to feel that across here. And you can bring your arms up if you tolerate it. Whatever you feel good, you're going to hold that for 15 to 20 seconds, up to 30 seconds if you can. Okay, and you can do that three times. You can go into a corner of a wall. If you don't have a door, a corner works good. This would be a wall here, but if you get the idea, your face goes towards the corner and your arms are out on the wall. Because, yeah, most houses don't have doors, so we got to make sure we get to account for that. Okay, the next one we're going to do is actual, the second exercise is really more for strengthening because you want to strengthen the back muscles to help hold you straight. Right. Keeping the spine straight as possible. That's our goal. So Brad's going to go ahead and lay down. Why don't you lay flat on the pillow, Brad, with the pillow underneath here. You want the pillow kind of right over here in the abdomen. So right here. there, yeah. And simply lay on it. So we can start off by just doing arm exercises Where, too. Where's that towel roll? Oh yeah, the towel for the forehead. It works out really good, doesn't it, Brad? Yeah. So you can put his head on the on the his forehead on the towel. Now we can start off just by even just raising both arms like this, and you can see how that's strengthening the upper back there, and 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 starting to help keep that spine straight by having the muscles uh, strengthen the core and the and the upper back. Now a little more difficult is to start maybe once you raise one leg, Brad. Good, 
And the same thing, that's now strengthening the lower back and some of the upper back too. And then you can even do alternating, right Brad? One mm -hmm. leg, one arm. There you go. This is pretty advanced. This, this is, is not advanced. easy. Brad's making it look easy. It's not that easy to do. Very good. Now you can hold them for five seconds and let them yeah. down. Is you know, isometric. You can do a good. You can do a good twenty of these if you like. It's a good core strengthening exercise. All right, Brad. Why don't you flip right over onto your back, and we'll show some of the range of motion exercises too that you want to do. I thought maybe I could take a nap. <laughs> All, All right. right. The hips tend to get a little bit tight on these too, so. You can actually pull your one knee to your chest, Brad, like that, pull it, then do the other one. Good. Then you can even do both together. Good. The other one that I like to see done actually, because that's, that's actually stretching the hips and the back a little bit, is actually just do some rotations. This is a great one for when you wake up in the morning just to get things moving in your back. It's moving all the joints of the back, especially the low back. And through here. Yep, all the way in through there. Typically, repetitions aren't always 10 to 15. Right. Them relax them comfortably, get in that stretch. You'll feel it. Okay, then why don't you sit up, Brad. Another good thing to have, Brad, is, is maybe just have like a pull-up bar or a bar somewhere in your house mm -hmm. that you can grab onto and just give yourself a stretch. Sure. Because that, that's going to help stretch the back out right. a little bit and it's also gonna help sh stretch the shoulders. Um, you're gonna probably wanna do even some neck range of motion. The, the typical sure. rotations, side bending. Might get some chin tucks. Chin tucks, extension. I know we're throwing a lot at you, but the whole idea is you're trying to get all the joints moving and you're trying to keep as straight as possible right. while you're, when you're doing this and working on your breathing. And there may be half of these that you're not able to do, so just do what you can and pick right. out the ones that work for you. That sounds good. All right, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. We're pretty good at responding to them. And make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I can never see it, but it's got to be on there somewhere. Make sure you click on it and we'll help you out week to week. All right, thanks a lot.